Hey folks, it's Bill Swift from Swift Canoe and Kayak and we're here to show you our 2020 pack boat collection. And let's start out with our two popular recreational models. For this year, they're going to come standard with a black and gold carbon Kevlar trim system. And this has a very unique shape to it. They've got a carbon Kevlar outside to the gunnel system. The cloth is brought right up on the inside. We infuse this as one structural part. When we pull these out of the mold, it's one piece. It's super strong, super cool. So these boats will come with a black and gold trim system with the cherry handles and cherry thwarts. They're going to also be available with what we call our Carbon Tech Package, where it's the black carbon gunnel system and we do it the same way we've got the same super cool shape to it where we infuse the hull and the gunnel is one structural part they'll have the carbon thwarts the carbon handles as standard in our super cool pack boat seat system now these are two of our most popular boats the Pack 12.6 is a redesigned version of our Pack 12, half a foot longer. And what we've done is we put quite a bit of tumble home where the sides pull in on it. It makes it easier for the paddler to reach over the side. Here is the Pack 13.6, and you can see it doesn't have quite as much tumble home to it. It's got a little bit. It's rounded in the chine, stable boat in the water good all-purpose shape. The Pack 13.6 is the boat that Joe Robinette helped make very popular. It's got a lot of room to put gear in it. It's a little bit wider at the gunnels, but super lightweight, very good all-purpose boat. The Pack 12.6 with a narrower paddling shape for the smaller person, it's going to be a lovely boat to paddle. The pack boat industry has been growing like crazy and a lot of people ask us, what is a pack boat? And essentially a pack boat has been an open boat canoe shape with a kayak seat and kayak foot braces in it so that you have a very open, easy to get into, easy to get out of boat. What we've done most recently is we found there's a whole segment of people that are used to canoeing and they want a solo boat that makes it easy to get in and out of, very lightweight, a boat they can carry with their pack as well. The boats are so light that you can do both on the same portage. We've come up with a really high performance shape called the Cruiser Pack Boats. Last year we had the Cruiser 14A, our most popular model. This baby has a lot of pull into the sides. It's got an S bend to the gunnel. It allows you to paddle in a very natural kayak motion. Really efficient boat in the water. We brought the widest point on these way up the sides. So it really deflects the spray and the splash off. They're very rounded in the chine areas, much like a kayak. The waves roll underneath them with very little effect of moving the boat around. They're asymmetrical. They're very straight keeled in the back end. There's a little bit more rocker upwards curvature in the front. The bows are more playful than the back of the boat. And the stern will follow the bow right around. Now we've come up with a brand new one this year. So the Cruiser 12A is going to complement the 14-8 that we have. Very similar shape, very similar widths, low cut. They're very efficient in wind and waves. Great day paddling boats, great light tripping boats. The boat on the bottom is the Cruiser 16A, which we've had for a few years now. We actually designed this as a canoe first and we made it a pack boat. This year, we're replacing this boat in the pack boat line with a Cruiser 15A which is going to be this shape of the Cruiser 14A, an inch wider, half an inch deeper, and a foot longer. For those larger people or people that really want to trip with more weight in the boat, it's going to be a great boat for that. 
One of the things that really differentiates Swift pack boats from other pack boats in the industry is comfort. Swift is a company of paddlers. And what we did is we modified our kayak seats. So they've got a lot of contour to the base of them. This is the base to every pack boat. Different models have different heights of this. There's a lot of contour to this, and it really fits the body really nicely. From there, we've got a real neat seating system that's got a lot of play to it. And what I want to emphasize is that the base under your butt is this really cool foam that was developed for the medical industry for enhanced blood flow management. It's used on wheelchairs and special needs equipment. It's so comfortable under your butt. It's got this ripstop nylon on the top of it. That's the top surface in the seat. Behind your back is this really comfortable foam. It's a little bit different. It's a little cushier. It's got more play to it. When you paddle, you move your lower back, and this foam really moves nicely with you. Now, the seat itself is really cool. And one of the keys to it is the strap flows, free-flowing, right through the back of it. So when you're not using the seat, you can keep it strapped down for transport. When you go to use it, you just clip into the lower clip, you tuck the seat in, and you don't want to crank this super tight. Keep this loose, because you want the seat to have play to it. And the reason is, when you paddle, you move your body, and this seat will move nicely with you. Very easy to tighten or loosen the seat. These work just like backpack straps. And here's a really cool feature. Adjustable lumbar support. I ruptured a disc in my back when I was young, and part of the therapy was to use lumbar support in my vehicle, my office chair. And I'll tell you guys, you've got to try this. Everyone has a different sweet spot. I like it pretty high up. You can play with a little bit to find out what really works for you. This seat is incredible. I have no idea why other pack boat companies don't do something better. Here are a couple of accessories that are going to be available for pack boats for next year. This one is actually going to have our nice ripstop nylon on the outside of it. It's a tube and it just fits on the gunnel really nicely. You put it on each side and it allows you to brace your legs on the side while you're paddling. It's very comfortable on the cruiser pack boats in particular that have quite a bit of pull into the gunnels. You can really brace your thighs against the side so you feel much like you're in a kayak. This is another really neat feature. Some people like different heights when they're paddling. I like putting an extra pad in. I like getting up a little bit higher and this is the same foam that we use on the bottom of the boat. Super comfortable. I'm going to get in now and I'm going to show you some other neat features about it. And here's why a lot of people really like pack boats. They're so easy to get in and out of. So this is the Cruiser 14A. So right now I can get in, I can adjust my feet. I like keeping a good bend to my, my knees. The more bend you have, I find the more comfortable it is. If your, your legs are flat on the floor, it's really hard on your muscles, your ligaments and tendons in your legs. And you'll find that your legs will actually get more tired before your upper body will. With this seat system, once you get your knees braced in, and if you get the side pad option, this is really cool. It gives you more bracing, more control in the boat when you're paddling, much like the feeling you have when you're in a kayak. And because of the S to the gunnel, I can paddle with my arms, my hands, just in the normal kayak position. These cruiser pack boats are amazing. You've got to try them. Here's a super cool accessory we have for 2020 for the Cruiser 14.8 only, and that is a bow splash cover, which comes right back to about where your legs are, and it's a really neat option. While you're paddling, it's just going to allow you to keep a little bit drier in the boat. 
it gets put on and taken off very easy, just with Velcro. Only takes a couple minutes to put on, a couple minutes to take off. If you're on a trip, you can roll it up easily. I tuck it right in the seat strap while I'm portaging it. This is a nice option for people that really want a trip or just stay a little bit drier while they paddle. You can certainly trip with our cruiser pack boats, lightweight tripping, day tripping. Here are our touring pack boats where you can take a large dog, you can really load them down with a lot of gear. The most popular one by far is the Prospector 14, which is a symmetrical canoe. It's got a beautiful shape to it. The sides are pulled way in. Just a lovely, lovely feel in the water, especially for somebody that's come from a canoe background. The Prospector 14 pack is a lovely boat. The Kiwaden 14 and Kiwaden 15 are asymmetrical, straighter keeled in the back, more rocker forward. The sides are pulled in even a little bit more to make it a little bit more efficient to paddle. These guys also, really, you can put a larger backpack in them. You can take a dog with them. The real interesting boat we have here is right on the bottom is the Kiwaden 16 tandem pack that has the two seats in it. The seats are spread so wide apart that when you're kayaking, you don't have to be in perfect unison when you paddle. These seats are so comfortable. We call this version the limousine. Here is a Prospector 14 Emerald Expedition Kevlar. Beautiful looking boat. It's got the Basalta Negra inside it. I'd like to show you some of the nice options you can order with your pack boats to go along with that. One of the most popular ones for people that like to trip to overnight camp is to get a yoke. You can either get it in carbon fiber, it's got the nice foam on it, detachable, very easy to take on and off. Here's the cherry yoke right here. So when you put these on, guys, you want to do it where you just come down and you get the two knobs snug. You don't want to just keep cranking and cranking and cranking. You want a little play to it. Once you've got this on, it's so easy to flip up and carry on your shoulders. And they're so light that people often carry a pack and the pack boat at the same time. Here's another great option for a pack boat. This is a sliding seat. You can see there's a track on the bottom of it here. So it corresponds with an I-beam track on the floor of the boat. You just slide it right on. And we've set it up so that if you've got a dog in front of you, you can bring it all the way to the back position. And you can stay pretty balanced in the water. When you pull it forward a bit, when there's four holes showing, and there's no other weight in the boat, you're pretty much in the balance position. Some trippers like to carry all their gear in one pack. They'll slide it to the all the way forward position and put it down. And then with the pack behind you, you can tuck it in. You can balance the boat nicely that way. It's the same seat pad, the same seat base that we use in all our other boats. So easy to adjust, so easy to put down and strap solid for portaging or when you're transporting. Here's another option that's really neat on the pack boats. We put three Scotty mount holders across the top of the bow thwart, one underneath, and we put two on the stern thwart that you can access pretty quickly. Naturalist photographers like taking camera equipment, a GoPro, you can put a cup holder on it. You can put two paddle clip holders to snap your paddle right in place. And for fishermen, there's a ton of options you can get on it. It's transducers, fish binders, fish rod holders. Really neat option. Really adds a lot of versatility to the boat. Here is the Kiwaden 16 tandem pack that comes out of the same mold as the Kiwaden 16. What's neat about it is we've developed pack boat seat bases that are the same height of our canoe seats. So this is a really comfortable boat for two people to paddle in. It comes standard with a carbon tech package with the carbon decks, the carbon handles, the nice deluxe high back folding seats, carbon yoke, 
It does have a kayak foot brace as standard. This is actually the carbon foot bar, which is a $200 option. Both work great with it. When you're moving the boat around on a vehicle, if you're portaging, you just fold the seats down. This boat is a pleasure to paddle. It's so stable, so efficient. You can go through wind and waves. This is definitely the limousine.